Hi everyone, today I will show you a much faster way of web scraping databases. And believe it or not, instead of using a traditional web scraping library, we will do this with pandas. That's why I'm wearing my fancy pandas t-shirt. But before we get too excited, this shortcut only works for HTML tables. So if you're looking to scrape images or any other kind of element, you will still need to do it the long way. And if that's your case, I'm including a bunch of very handy tutorials in the description. However, if HTML tables is exactly what you seek, with this method, you will not need to open the developer tools even once because your entire table will be automatically scraped for you. So are you ready? Let's do this. And we will begin by installing pandas with conda install dash c anaconda pandas or pip install pandas if you're not using anaconda. We will confirm with y. And additionally, we will need a library called LXML. We can install it with conda install dash c anaconda LXML. Or pip install LXML, of course. We will confirm with y. And we can now go ahead and start coding. Now, in my case, I'm using Jupyter Notebook. So I will run it with Jupyter Notebook. You can use any other IDE, it's up to you. And we will create a brand new Python 3 notebook, which we will call scraper underscore pandas. And first things first, we will import pandas spd. And then the shortcut goes as follows. So we will create a new variable called scraper and we will assign it to pd.read underscore html. And then inside the round brackets, we will include a URL of our choice. Now, in my case, I'm using the exact same URL we've used in the mechanical soup tutorial. So I'll just copy it and I will paste it as a string inside the round brackets. And then at the very bottom of our code, we will also print the scraper object. And officially, this should do the trick. But unofficially, for some of us, this may result in a URL error, one that has to do with your SSL certificate. Now, in this computer, if I'm running this code, everything is perfect. We are getting an entire list of tables, uh, which we have scraped from the web page. However, if I do the same on my Alienware, I'm going to get a very nasty error as a result. So if you're getting the exact same error, you can fix it by first importing SSL. And then we will type SSL dot underscore create underscore default underscore HTTPS underscore context equals SSL dot underscore create underscore unverified underscore context. Whew. And once we run this code, this should fix your error. But the only problem is that we are getting too much information in return. This seems to select all the tables that we see on the page while we're actually interested only in one. So let's go ahead and narrow down this list. And instead of printing our scraper, we will simply type for index table in enumerate scraper. And we will first print a separator, which is a bunch of asterisks, a very long line of asterisks. And then right below, we will print the index and we will print the table. And now we can go ahead and rerun this code with shift enter. And let's have a look. So the table we are interested at would be this distribution table, which exists under index three. So the way to select it in the cell below, we will simply type scraper at index three. We will run this cell and there you go. Here's an extra organized pandas data frame with all the values we wanted to select. So all we need to do now is to load it to SQL and that's it. Now I'm not going to repeat the SQL commands here. You guys can just uh, go back to my mechanical soup tutorial where I show you exactly how to do it. Now using pandas here is not only saving us lots of time and lots of typing, we are also making our code much more reliable because we are selecting the entire table rather than individual items inside the table which may change over time. However, this pandas method also has its limitations. So not only we are restricted to table elements, but we are also not able to use pandas to interact with the web page. 
So if we need to log in, if we need to press on a bunch of buttons, we will still need to use a traditional web scraping library. Now, thank you guys so much for watching and an extra special thank you to Dito for suggesting me this read HTML method in the comments. I really hope it saves you lots of time with your projects. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like. If you have anything to say, please leave me a comment. If you want to be extra awesome, you can always subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and of course, share this video with the world. Now, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.